I'm going to be running from Oceano to oops, Paso to pick up a wine shipment. <sighs> Sorry about this. Anyway, I wanted to show you my premium spot here at Pacific Dunes. Seriously, my premium spot. This is my front door. And there's the men's and women's restroom. There's their <laughs> concrete pad. But this is my premium lot. Let me say that again, premium lot. I'm staying three weeks. I'm paying over $1,400 for this premium lot. Guess whether I'm excited. Neither here nor there is in Oceano. You probably figured out that I'm not in love with this RV resort. Yes, there is a beautiful area, beautiful view if you're in the right place. But if you're not, eh, it's just a regular parking lot like every place else. And they charge for Wi-Fi. No free Wi-Fi, $35 a week for one hookup. If you want to hook up two things, 70 This is kind of the view of a little road leading up to Pacific Dunes. You can see it's ag all the way, which is no problem. I come from ag all the way. This is a park where lots of people live, not just camp, but live. Probably more than half of the sites here are full-time residents. And you can see lots and lots of vehicles. People don't have enough room at their sites to park two cars, so they park here. In the background is what makes this RV park special. Uh, in my opinion, the only thing that really makes it special is it's right up against the dunes, which then lead down to the beach and the Pacific Ocean. So these sand dunes that people love to ride horse on, ATV on, walk and hike on, are right behind. And there is a little path that leads from the RV park to the dunes, so you can go through that way. Um, there's also plenty of access throughout the town of Oceano, uh, including streets that, you know, dump right there so that you can, you know, bring your motorized vehicles and ride along the dunes. I just put this in because I thought it was cute how they do sleep together and are friends most of the time. And I love Shomi's little face. This is the view as I'm leaving. Oceano going through Grover Beach and I'm headed to the transit center. Oh, that's your coach. Anyway, um, I'm headed to Grover Beach. I have Grover Beach and then the 101 freeway, sorry. So I can go to Possible. This is it's pretty. It's it's beachy. I mean not beachy, but open. I like this part. Oh, and this is the second vehicle I've seen pulling ATVs so apparently it's pretty popular to rent those and drive on the beach and the dunes the dunes here there it goes okay now I'm on the 101 look at the ocean it's beautiful okay 10 miles to San Luis Obispo here we go it's gonna be a nice drive I think top of the hill slash mountain. There's fog just blanketing the very top. Kind of like that uh, flossy snow stuff that you can get at Christmas time because it's Christmas time. Show me yells at me. Whenever I've been gone too long. I come home I don't think it's welcoming. It's more of a. It's more of a. Complaint. Oh, my God. my phone down. Okay. I'm going to put this whole thing on on the video because now she's fine because she took an ear. It was in the other bed. I don't know. And it's true. I, I've been for... What? You just want to play. 
I know, big boy. I know, big boy. Don't knock my phone down again. You guys are both so cute. Thank you for loving me. I love you back. And twice a week, twice a week when the trash collection comes, this gate for the little trash has to be open for them. Which means, of course, I cannot park here, so my butt end is either in the street or in the neighbor's area. This is the laundry room. I think there's another one down the hill. <laughs> Two old dryers, one old washer, and a floor that floods when it rains. And then I saw the super cool, super cool looking uh, diner. It's, I'm not even gonna say anything. And I have to say super cool, because cool really works for it. It's odd, it's retro, it's elaborate. Ha, I got some more words, but wait and see. I'm even gonna eat there, we'll see if it's good. This is truly a beautiful view at the RV park. And you can see there are sites here. If you have a small RV and can back in, you can back right up to this. And that would be lovely to, to come here for a week or two with your small RV, back up and just have that incredible view. But again, I'm in the parking lot part. Uh, look at the sunset. Oh, you can see sand in the distance. You've got all this growth here. It is truly lovely. And I've used that word a lot, but it's beautiful here. It really is beautiful. So out there to go to the toilet, hopefully. But look at the pretty sky. It's supposed to have, a big storm is coming into California, Southern California, Middle California, tomorrow. But right now, even though there's lots of clouds, beautiful. I love that. So I had to film it just for you and for me. I am here on PCH, Pacific Coast Highway. I'm at the Rock and Roll Diner, and I'm going to have breakfast, and I'm on camera, and this is the Rock and Roll Diner. I'll get a better shot later. It is a big, long train car. Long train car. Stuff goes way down there, too. Yeah. I just had to stop. I'm waiting to be seated. Hi. Yeah, I did out with you. Okay. So this is the entrance. And it's Christmas. I love it. Is that Jimmy Dean? It looks like him. I did enjoy being inside this with all these billions of business cards up there on the ceiling with the Christmas decorations. And look at the jukebox, a baby jukebox. I don't think it works. Okay, it was a really cool place. But I wouldn't go there again for the food. It was edible, but not memorable. But the inside was very interesting, and it really is a train. It really, a, it's two train cars. I like that. And I guess they're smoking for later. But you not know, too many other places to visit. I don't like to normally eat out a whole lot when I travel unless I'm eating at some special place. And this was a special place to stop. I should have just had like a malt and french fries or something. Huh. I use my little remote control to push the button to make this come on. All right, it is early in the morning on Sunday. I am in Oceano, California. When you're a full-timer, you have to do regular life things. And you also have to do weird things that happen to the rig. Right now, I'm having trouble keeping the propane going or flowing. So right now, it's not coming in the house to the stove or to the furnace. I gotta check that out. Also, some weird thing, I can't get the water to go in. Um, I don't know if it's my connectors, I'm gonna buy some new connectors, or if there's something wrong with the water, it's the water panel itself. Because I know when I first bought this machine, and I was in Sioux Falls, and I wanted to put in uh, power fill, 
it wouldn't power fill. I mean, it was like nothing happened. So out of the blue, it kind of worked. Like, you know how sometimes your computer works and then it doesn't work and you leave it for a while and you come back. It's cured itself. So let's see where I am today with trying to get water. Because right now I'm operating off of the final third tank that's there for dry camping. But I need to hook up to city water. We'll see. Once again, thank you for giving me your precious time and watching this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you know somebody, ask them to subscribe. And come back next week because there'll be another video. Don't even know what it's going to be, but we can both be surprised.